Welcome back to the Force 9 YouTube channel. Welcome back to Football Manager 2018 and the Rolling Stone save with Maidstone United. And in today's episode, we have uh, the first of two games uh, in well, just a few days against Dover Athletic. First match away from home here on Boxing Day. Uh, next episode, which will be the day after this, I'm going to do a little bonus Monday video. Uh, we'll play the second game against Dover, which is at home on New Year's Day. In between those, there is a match against Aldershot, but I will be skipping that and uh, just playing that off screen, and we'll have a look at what happens with that in the next video. But today, Dover away, uh, big rivals of ours. 21st in the league, though, they're you know, not just above the relegation zone, so they're not having a good time with it. But they are local rivals, so we're going to play them. They're fierce local rivals, and uh, the reason they're played so close together is to save on travel costs for fans. That's why they're so close together and they're in the holidays, so fans aren't having to fork out more money for them, which is nice. Last episode, we defeated Tramir Rovers 3-1. Jamal Lozzi getting two goals in that game. Pig also won the score sheet. And uh, it was good. It was a bit nervy at times. They got an early goal in the second half, but we won three run. Pleased to say that we've remained unbeaten since then. We started off with a 2-1 win against Ebbsfleet, a team that we won away from home against, so a team we've done the double against. Well, we did go behind in the match. It was uh, the centre-back Kenny Clark getting the first goal for Ebbsfleet half an hour into the game. So not a great start for us. And going in a half-time 1-0 down. Big team talk, big assertive team talk. And uh, they responded, which is great. Two goals in about seven or eight minutes. So that was fine. Uh, Jamal Loza got the first one. And then Oli Muldoon with the second on 69 minutes. Gave us a 2-1 win. 21 shots to 10. A bit more possession. I think we were better. Again, defending was... It wasn't as bad as it has been. Akiosu had a 6.0. And Cox is 6.5. The fullback seemed to be, you know, our weakness at the moment. And Joe Piggott had a rough game as well. 6.2. Uh, to Horst came on. And, uh, you know, he made a couple of key passes. He was all right. We got a 1-1 draw away against Maidenhead, a team that we lost to on the opening day, a home defeat on the opening day. It wasn't great. And, you know, we went out for revenge and uh, we got a draw, which is not bad away from home. We got a nice early goal. Oli Muldoon, after just uh, seven minutes, in the eighth minute, he scored his goal. He's doing really well in that midfield. He's been one of the best players of the season recently. He's been really good, doing really well. Uh, in the second half, Maidenhead did get their equaliser just a couple of minutes into the half and uh, Carpentieri... Uh, converted a penalty. I think it was Jai Reason that may have conceded it, but I can't remember. So uh, that was 1-1. One, one. And Maidenhead did end with 10 men. Dan Barry got a second yellow card on 81 minutes, the first yellow coming on 24 minutes. So they were uh, down to 10 men for the last sort of 10 minutes or so. We couldn't take advantage. A 1-1 one, one draw, it's not bad away from home. I would like to win, but, well, we can't win every game, can we? Then we had the uh, FA Trophy first round match. And we, as as uh, you may remember from last time, we drew Eastley, a really tough game, because Eastley are right up there in the same league as us. So this is one of the toughest draws we could have got. And we won 4-1. Like, I couldn't believe my eyes. I mean, all four goals, all five goals in the first half. And I just couldn't believe what happened in this game. And Joe Piggott started us off with uh, two goals in two minutes, 11th and the 12th minute, a fantastic start. And then Jack Jeb got his first goal for the club on 37 minutes. He started him and he had a fantastic game. So really good from Jeb. And then just two minutes after that, Johan de Horst scored off the bench. Jamal Loza came off with an injury and he's still out from that, unfortunately. So de Horst came on uh, from the bench and scored our fourth goal. 4-0 after 39 minutes. Easley did score just before half time. Chris Zabrowski scored to make it 4-1. Uh, in the second half, there were no sh no goals, but a 4-1 win away from home against Eastley. Really good, really happy with this. And, you know, at half time, we'd had four shots, four goals. We hadn't missed any of our shots. We were just clinical. So a really, really good result. I wasn't expecting this at all. We faced Eastley in the league, and it was a nil-nil draw, the first draw we had of the season. But this was just on another level. I think we just, the tactic was just spot on for them, I think. They just couldn't deal with it. And the victory has sent us through to the second round of the FA Trophy. And uh, in that round, uh, we've been drawn against Chester at home. Now, the way that the extra time thing works is that both teams have to agree to play extra time. So we're at home against Chester. We said, yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll go to extra time if we draw. But Chester decided against it, which means that if we draw against Chester, we have to do a replay at their ground. So that's not ideal. But it looks like both teams have to come to an agreement on extra time. That seems to be how it works. So on the match rules, it says the clubs can negotiate whether to play extra time. So I guess both parties have to agree to it. 
Anyway, uh, the final game we played off screen uh, it was a home game against Leighton Orient. We drew 1 1, and we had to have rotten luck in this game. It was it was just really unlucky. I mean, we started off really well. Joe Pickett scored after less than six minutes. We were 1 0 up. Uh, but then all hell broke loose. Akioto and Dayton collided. Uh, both came off injured. Akioto with a concussion. I wonder if Dayton was the same thing. Uh, no. Oh, oh, wow. He got a cruciate injury. 8 to 12 months. That's not good for him. But Jason Akioto got a concussion. And it's going to be up for another couple of weeks or so. So that wasn't good. And then uh, 7 minutes into injury time. There were only um, projected to be 3. But after the two injuries... There was a few more minutes added on. Alex Finney scored an own goal after 52 minutes. And it was still the first half. It's really weird. But yeah, seventh minute of injury time. It went out as an own goal. I don't know if there was any, if he knew about it at all. But yeah, that was just really unfortunate. Uh, and then in the second half, uh, Joe Piggott got a red card. Second yellow card. Uh, 65 minutes. We played 25 minutes with 10 men. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I just we just have rotten luck in this game, and you know, we were we were lucky to get a draw. I mean, we got the nice early goal, but playing against ten men for well, more or less half an hour, it was yeah, it was just bad. I mean, we had eight shots, they had fifteen. We could have lost this one. Thankfully, we didn't. But injuries and the red cards, yeah, just <laughs> ridiculous. So we are on a seven match unbeaten run. If you include the FA Trophy in the league, we're unbeaten in six. Not since. That defeat against Torquay. So Dover today. And then in the next video on Monday's bonus video. We'll play the second game against Dover. And then after that. Um, we're still in the FA Trophy. Uh, we've got a ridiculous schedule coming up. We'll face uh, Dover today Tuesday. Aldershot on the Saturday. And then Dover again on the Monday. So yeah. It's just stacked schedule at the moment. But after the Dover games. We should round out the season pretty quickly. It'll probably only take maybe three more videos. Maybe not even that. So uh, we'll just try and get through it as quickly as we can. But on to today's game. Then we're in good form. Dover a bit inconsistent. As I mentioned, they're down in the bottom half of the table. And this is what the team looks like at the moment. It's not in ideal um, state. So Akio 2 is injured, which means that we've got to start Joe Anderson at left back, which is not ideal because he's terrible. And we haven't signed another left back because, you know, we've got a massive squad as it is. Uh, Jack Hartley's carrying a knock. He had, had some solid games recently, but he can't play today. We can't, he could, but he's in no condition to. So Zavon Hines is going to come on. We're going to leave him just in that right midfield role. Joe Piggott's injured, so I was suspended rather. So Delano Sam York's going to come in, which means that we only have those two as recognised strikers. That's not ideal. So uh, we will have uh, Paxman on the bench. So we've got, you know, at least a cam player. Good. Um, Harry Phipps. Let's put Harry Phipps onto the bench as well. Magnus is back from his injury, so we'll have him on to the subs bench as well. Um, I think this is what we're going to have to go with. You know, it's not ideal, but it's the best we can do. We've got a couple of tired legs in midfield as well. But we're going to play... Well, no, we're going to take off Muldoon. Let's put uh, let's put Reason onto the bench. And we'll do that. And then, you know, we might need to rotate for the order shot game. But these Dover games are big. You know, it's a derby. So we're going to try and play the strongest team we can. Uh, I don't think Dover have any players that I recognise. No, I don't think so. Now, seeing as it's a rivalry, we are going to go for the fans team talk. It somewhat worked. Let's have a bit of an individual chat. And that's improved things a little bit. We're playing really well at the moment. I really wish I could have done the assistant doing this. Just There were so many questions there. But yeah, hopefully we can get the bragging rights in this derby and continue our form because we're doing well at the moment. We are... Well, I didn't show the league table, did I? Uh, we are fourth. We are four points off of Leighton Orient, who are top. So if we'd have beaten them, we could have gone with it a point. But fourth place is good. We are six points clear in the playoffs, certainly in eighth place on 40 points. So we're looking good for these playoff places. I think we're almost certainly going to get the top half finish. But let's just see if we can um, retain a spot in the playoffs by the end of the season. It would be a nice thing to get, especially first season. I don't want to get... I don't I really want to get promoted first time because if we end up in League 2 we are going to be so out of our depth and we'll probably go straight back down so you know I won't be too disappointed if we get um, promoted first season because our squad is not cut out for for the Football League because we have a early shot. Other than that shot we just saw not a lot else has happened really we've got a free kick here though for Dover 28th minute of the game it's headed towards goal and Morgan with um, a simple save to make. 
10 minutes left in the half more or less. I'm going to have a little bit of a shout and say get creative. Same number of shots at the moment. A very level game, although, you know, the chances haven't been fantastic chances. They've been all right, but that's all really. Half time. Um, pretty dull first half. Only one or two chances really. Again, I'm going to say for the fans, it's it's worked a little bit. We could have done better with that team talk though. Um, that's improved things a little bit. And in the tactics, then uh, we're going to leave it on a f we're going to leave it on standard flexible. Actually, I don't want to go control. The tempo's a little bit higher because that seems to be working at the moment. As is, we're, we're going to take off the run at defence. Let's try and work balls into the box. Uh, I don't want to overlap. I don't really want to get the full backs involved because they are very defence minders. Um, let's play a little bit more of a direct style and see if we can get it up to the strikers. And hopefully in this half we'll see a few more chances and hopefully a goal for us. Joe Anderson with a throw in here. Delano Sam York to uh, Jai Reason and Harvey Willard. And uh, he's got a good cross on him. He's found to Horst. And Devon Hines is through and that's a good save. Cleared away by Simpson. That was probably the best chance we've had so far. As Devon Hines could have scored that. Very average ratings at the moment for both teams. There's no one really playing especially well. Uh, we don't have any strikers on the bench though, so you know we can't really take off to Horst or Sam York at the moment, which is a bit annoying. To Horst to Zavon Hines, and uh, Willard's there at the far post, and to Horst with a header, and we do take a lead, 54th minute of the game. Johan to Horst scores, and we lead 1-0 against Dover. Looking good. Header away by Thomas, um, only went as far as to Horst, and then Zavon Hines. Look at to Horst with a run into the box, and there you go, six yard box on the edge of the box. Heads it in. 1 0. Up to second after that as well. That's good. Um, Jeb's getting very tired. I think we'll take him off. Let's bring on Paxman. We don't see him a lot, and he's been asking for some more football. So we bring on Jack Paxman. We'll leave him as the DLP. Pass the hour mark. We've got a 1 0 lead. Dover have only really had one chance, and Cameron Cox is injured. That's not good. Um, we can move Winter to right back. He's not, not bad there. He's a very versatile defender. It's another concussion. Two fullbacks on concussions now. Akioti last game and now Cox. We'll put Magnus in at centre back. We do have Tuamazi available to us. He's not here in the team today, but he should be fine to play um, games until Cox comes back. Here is to Horst. Can he maybe add a second or can he set up uh, Sam York? Paxman gives it away and Thomas forward to Bird now. And here is, who's that? Pasley? Paisley? I couldn't see. And Allen. Where's the right back? I mean, Winter's moved to right back. It's headed away by Anderson. Show Silver will chase it down. Here's Thomas. And now Brundle, who I thought was a Formula 1 driver. Come on, let's clear the danger here. Pasley, Show Silver. And I can see a goal come in. There we go. Br Mitch Brundle with the finish. And it's 1 1. That's his first goal. We're, all, we're always conceding to people that are scoring their first goal. That seems to be happening a lot. But we couldn't deal with the danger here. Um. I mean, well, it's, I think that's, I don't know if that's Winter there or that's Winter, but yeah, they just didn't pick up that guy. And then Wargan was looking the other way with the goal. 20 minutes left in the game. I mean, I don't really want to draw, but it's away from home. I'll take it. Muldoon's going to come on. He's going to move Hines a little bit further forward. Not Willard, though, just the one. Still a very tight game, though. I, I, a draw, I guess, is fair. We haven't seen a lot from Dover, but in terms of having the ball, they've not had a lot less shots than we have. 10 minutes left, uh, and uh, they've got a throw in here. But can we deal with this? Here's Hines to Paxman. And Zavon Hines, and that's a ball forward. Sam York, no, he wasn't going to get there, was he? We've got one more change to make. We could bring on Phipps and put a third midfielder in there, or we could, I think, oh well, who else to be up on the bench? I can't remember. Sam York's through here. Go on. Oh, Walker saves it. Corner, though. I mean, the last 10 minutes could be big here. Hopefully we can do something with this corner. Joe Anderson's taking it, which I'm not too pleased about because he's terrible. It's gone deep. Sam York and Muldoon. Oh, that's, uh, yeah. Uh, that was pretty awful. Right, we've got Ray on the bench, so we could take off. Well, I don't want to take off Willard. He's been doing really well. Um, I'm going to take off to Horst. And uh, I'm going to bring on Harry Phipps. Uh, I can't make any more subs. Oh, okay, all right. I forgot about my injury. We've already made three changes. Uh, let's change Paxman's role, though. Let's change him to a central midfielder support. And hopefully get a winner. But a draw's not bad. Away from home, you know. These points away from home are handy. One will do. 
We're down a fifth though, so it looks like the teams around us have um, have played better and have got results. But 13 shots. Uh, I've got to be a bit disappointed. There's a free kick very late on here. And uh, that's just going to go out of play. Oh, it's cleared. And that's full time. Uh, Dover 1, Maidstone 1. I think we probably could have won that. But uh, I'm not too disappointed. I'm just going to say we were unlucky because I think we were. Another injury as well. They're starting to pile up now. That's four. Three, I think. Uh, concussion, uh, three to four weeks. So, uh, yeah, that's him. And Akio 2 out now. Lowe's is out for up to two weeks with an ankle injury. Hartley should be back any minute. But the injuries are starting to pile up now. It's not good. Also, uh, almost forgot, on the subject of uh, Alex Finney, our centre-back, uh, his loan was due to end in January, and we have extended it to the end of the season. So so we've got Finney till the end of the season now. He was only here till January, but we've managed to extend it, which is fine by me. So, uh, no, we're still fourth after that. So um, File didn't win in the end, so we do stay fourth. And we're now, well, we're three points off top, late in Orient. Uh, they lost 3-1 to Dagenham and Redbridge, so... Uh, yeah, we've made ground on the top guys, but, you know, three points off. Goal difference is a little bit inferior to the other guys in the playoff spots. But, um, yeah, things are going well. So next episode, we're going to face Dover once again, this time in the home fixture. Older shot in between. We'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, that's it. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next episode where we're facing Dover again, this time at home. Thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Goodbye.